Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Mmm. As some of you are probably too drunk to notice, Halloween weekend sucked for movies. But this weekend looks like a good one. We have three major releases coming out this weekend. 127 Hours, which is a documentary about my birth, due date, the prequel to the first movie, and Megamind, the animated prequel to the other two. First off is 127 Hours, which is actually the telling of the story of basically the manliest man to ever walk the earth, Aaron Ralston, who's the famous mountain climber that ended up sawing his own arm off with a dull knife to get out from underneath a boulder. I salute you, sir. The release of this movie coincides with Ralston's release of his do-it-yourself DVD collection, which includes amputation, circumcision, and of course, home plumbing. Second movie up is Due Date, starring Zach Galifianakis and Robert Downey Jr. This is an odd couple road comedy straight out of the 80s from director Todd Phillips of Hangover fame. Looks like another hit for Phillips, and this looks like the extreme version of Plane, Trains, and Automobiles, but it looks like it works. That's all I have to say, no jokes about this movie. Third movie up is Megamind, which is an animated movie from DreamWorks who have been suffering since the loss of Shrek, their big money maker. But I swear to God, if I see any more Shrek specials, I will kick in anything green. Okay. Whew, have to calm down. Where was I? Oh yeah, DreamWorks. Next shot of competing with Disney and Pixar. The trailers for its movie had me intrigued at first, but the third trailer just confused me as it went against the others two with Metro Man suddenly being back alive. I like the original idea of having Metro Man dying, which I guess was too dark for DreamWorks. Grow a pair, guys. Think outside the box and make a memorable movie. Disney's always killing people off. Mufasa, Little Mermaid's mom, Bambi's mom, Nemo's mom, the dude from Up, his wife died. Uh, any memorable movie equals a death in the family, usually a parent, I guess. It sucks being the parent of a Disney feature, actor, character, whatever they're called. Hell, in Wally, they killed off half the human race. You don't see them bring people back to life, let alone before the movie even comes out. At least leave some surprises for the release. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this rant-filled episode. I will see you next week. Be sure to watch the Almost Weekly Show this Friday.